So I've not actually talked much about what I'm doing at work right now after having graduated from studying aerospace engineering. So here's a video basically explaining that. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Saga and yes, as I just mentioned, I studied and have graduated from aerospace engineering this year and have transitioned into the tech and software scene. So this September just gone, I moved to London and started working at a company called Accenture. Accenture is what you'd call a multinational professional services technology company. In essence, the company provides various professional services such as management consultancy and solutions delivery for technology related projects. My official job title at the company is a application developer development associate which is, you know, just a fancy way of saying client facing software engineer. I've been actually very lucky since joining this company because I've been put onto a 10 week long full stack engineering course which is supposed to help me learn a lot of the skills needed to become a great full stack engineer. And I'm lucky because this training course is brand new and me and a few other people who are on the course are the first people to actually do this set of training as a graduate coming into Accenture. There are other graduates who did join in the same cohort as me. However, their training was only two weeks long and very short and not really specific. So I feel quite lucky to be on this 10 week long full stack engineering course. So jumping back into this training course I'm currently doing with Accenture, the things I'm going to learn and have already learned because I'm in week seven of that training course right now as of filming this video. So the things I've learned are React, AWS, I have learned databases, so the SQL relational type of databases. Um, we will in the near future cover non-relational databases. So in essence, this course covers a whole host of things that a full stack engineer would need to know to make full stack web applications. Because I am new to the company and have just come in as a graduate, they are training me rather than putting me onto projects and stuff yet. So it does kind of feel like I'm back at university. However, the cool thing is, I'm basically learning but being paid, so what more can I say? Um, it's pretty good at the moment. And um, I'm excited to get on to projects and stuff later on, but right now I've not actually experienced like really working for Accenture because all I've been doing so far is learning about software engineering in general and the more specific things related to a full stack engineer's job. But it won't actually be long until I am working on real business technology projects that will make a difference to real other companies around the world. This should be super exciting because from what I've heard, it's not confirmed. I should be working on projects related to AWS. However, this is, you know, a bit uncertain because there's no definite proof that that's what I will be doing. But hopefully I am working on projects that are focused around the things I've learned during this 10 week training course. Otherwise it would be a bit of a waste, but uh, hey ho, we move, stuff happens. But uh, hopefully, yeah, I get to implement the skills I've learned onto real projects and become, um, very proficient at programming, being a software engineer or a cloud engineer and generally being the technical wizard that I hope to be. But yeah, as you can see, even though I did study aerospace engineering, my current job that I'm doing is not really related to aerospace engineering. Um, however, Accenture does have aerospace clients. So, you know, like Airbus and so on, um, Accenture does provide services to them. So who knows? Maybe I will be working for or with a aerospace company, but just through Accenture. So we'll have to see and find out what happens. If you do want to know why I made the switch from aerospace to software and tech, do check this video out. It um, explains all the reasons why and um, gives you a better insight whether or not you should pursue aerospace engineering or not. So enjoy. See you around. 